Hi guys, welcome back to RimWorld Catworld. And as you can see, winter has approached. It's getting colder outside. And we have one slight issue that we need to take care of straight away. And that is poor Yeti. His gear is absolutely poor, as you can see here. Oh, <laughs> right, we go into the gear tab. He's got a pair of shoes and a light leather military uniform. And that is all it well. He's nearly dead. He hasn't got a lot at all. So what we're gonna have to do now is straight away get into production of hand tailoring. We're not using electric tailoring bench yet because we well we simply can't. So we're just gonna put one of these down here, get it built, and get him some new clothes. <laughs> are doing rather well we're keeping on top of the kibble and i do believe we've now tamed a boar which is the wild boar male and somewhere on the map there's a female one or there was <laughs> we need to get that field there she is there she is little sweetheart get that one tamed and then we've got cows yaks turkeys chickens and boar to keep us fed along with our little bits of veg our wall is two sides finished that one there that one there third side is nearly finished and we've nearly got this one done as well and once all that is complete we can start to look at really looking into reorganizing the base and doing it all properly now one thing i did notice out here we've got some llamas is it llamas alpacas llamas. <laughs> and it might be an idea to get hold of some wool and we do have the cats but they don't give a lot of wool we've got a female at age four and tame that one and uh, a male age three there male age 13 male age seven let's go for that one let's get a couple of alpacas in there for some milk and wool as well and then we can make some nice warm clothes at winter time quest available an impressive building okay let's have a look at this it's a three by five in size and require wood sturdy three by five that's 15. construction must be completed within 13 days to the task you see the rewards when you finish the construction if the monument is destroyed within 15 days of construction your relations will fall by minus 10. so we've got a choice of rewards if we decide to do it what about runner the farmer age 45 is construction Nah, i don't think we're going to do that at this time it's not uh we don't need goodwill really Eltex and jade and we definitely don't want that uh colonist so i think we're just gonna say no thanks okay our tailor's bench is finished so let us pop our lovely yeti onto tailoring and he's very good at it so we should make some decent clothes let's have a look see what we can make Oh, lots of lovely, lovely stuff. Um, make some pants then. Now, we're going to make sure that is not at any worker, but it has to be Yeti. And we're not going to use things like all that thin thread and stuff. So, wools, cloths and leathers, just for now. So, do that for us, sweetie. Thank you very much. And then, let me have a look. See, so we've got all the different mod on to make different stuff. Uh, make a duster, make a jacket, make a parka. It's cold. Big Sand Snow do have parkas, but Yeti doesn't have a parka, so we'll get that going. We are in deep, deep winter now. As you can see, the hay grass that was grown here has started to die off. We've got a few little tubs there. We're running out of kibble, and our potatoes and corn are slowly dying off i cannot find any more like berries or anything on the map either that we could be in trouble guys we could be in trouble we do of course have some meat but you cannot just make kibble with meat um we're gonna be in trouble but as you can see the guys now are fully kitted out here is snow with his cowboy hat on there goes yeti he's fully kitted out let's have a closer look at that He's got his parka on, his cowboy hat and everything. Uh, some boots. He's he's good. He's good to go. He's the lad. That's snow, actually. <laughs> Here we go. 
I'm sorry, guys. Free dead. He's got his Parker arm. He's got some hats, trousers, t-shirts. Everybody should be warm enough to get us through this winter. Okay, and our main wall has got level one uh, all the way around. What I mean by level is going to have at least three layers when we are finished. So we should be. I'm just double checking that we are completely enclosed. And we are. We have three of what I call little sally ports to get in and out. So now we have to start thinking about how we're going to arrange our base inside and also a little trap which i think we're going to build our trap out here uh that's for incoming raids we're going to get you know trapped and we can stand and shoot because we're all shooters and uh, yeah so i'm gonna nip off and okay so what i've decided to do guys is this is the start of the getting the outer wall up to three so just ignore that for now this here is going to be yeti's new room um, it's going to be done out in marble and then we've got some slate flooring just outside the reason it's going to be his new room is because he's our animal guy and ne and our crafter so next door is going to be our stone preparing room and all the stone storage and then we're going to have a brand new lovely wooden barn for all our animals because this one is a little bit too small for what we've got right now and then we're going to have a new like animal pen out here and grow some more stuff and things but i can see some apples there look oh harvest harvest boys and what is this a brazier bush yeah that harvest we can sell it we can absolutely sell that yeah so that's what i've decided to do in this corner and then at this side we'll be building a trap soon but i just want to get uh, yeti moved into this new area just for him and then what we'll do with the boys it will make them some separate housing somewhere else in the base okay we have a new quest waltz's vagabonds waltz is approaching with a child in tow they claim to have lost their home in a recent attack waltz begs you for permission to stay at cat haven for 15 days they can rest and regroup and return the offer to work and fight for free well this is good we are going to accept it we are a little bit short on food however hopefully waltz can mine please tell me he can bloody mine Oh my god, he can't mine. Can this kid mine? Can the kid... Oh, oh I clicked on that. Neither of them can mine. The kid can... The kid can mine. The kid can mine. The kid can mine. Yes! We can get lots of mining done. We can get some stealing. Ali, bloody Louie. Right, let's get these sorted. Uh, firefight on one. Patient on one. Uh, doctors off. Off, off, off. Uh, two's on that. Hall, uh, not the kid. I don't want the kid doing anything. But bloody mining. You can do a bit of basic. <laughs> You're not doing anything, kid, but you are going to go out there and mine, mine, mine till your heart's content. Uh, do a bit of hauling, actually. Uh, you don't need to do cleaning. And waltz, well, hmm, dude. Childcare, that's fine. Basic on two. Warden, no. Come off that. Um, growing, we don't need you on that because we've got snow for that. Um, research, 12. Bang on, glad. Bang on. We'll knock snow down to two on research. Research and writing. Let's just get some writing, some books, huh? Oh, we've got a miner, guys. We can get some bloody stealing. Oh, our little kid is doing an excellent job mining. As you can see, we have nearly finished our little stone room. We've got quite a lot of granite, so we've got storage for all the different blocks in here. And uh, our Yeti is chopping away at the blocks and our little visitor jet is mining away and we're getting some steel coming in guys we're getting some steel and we have a new quest count honorius honorius skeleros <laughs> needs people to help translate a book he's actually one colonist 13 years or older to serve him for eight days unfortunately we don't have anybody, so we can't do that one. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting along nicely. This is nearly built now for our new animals. And our new animals, our new barn for the animals. We just needed some more leathers to finish off that. And then we can think about moving the animals across. But yeah. Oh, it's so good to have a miner in the colony, guys. It really is. Okay, it looks like Waltz does want to join us. Um... I don't think we're going to do it as we, our rules are, you know, you have to be a cat or have fur at the very least. And um, kids, yeah, obviously we'll take kids, but also 
walls. He can't shoot. He can't do a lot of things. But he's medical, he's an intellectual, he's good, but he's not the kind of guy we really want. And again, he's not a cat. And this is Cat World. Hopefully Jet might want to join us. I mean, we can do something with Jet. Um, his bio at the moment is very good. Okay, he doesn't have shooting and money, but look at his passions. He's got passions in cooking, plants, crafting, medical, social. He's too smart. He's a quick sleeper. And if he does turn out to be a good colonist, if he wants to join, then Binks or Snow could, uh, you know, inject him with the uh, implant genes and make him into a cat. But unfortunately, it was Waltz. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to reject that. Okay, Yeti's uh, bedroom is just about finished, look. So let us get it organised a little bit. Uh, we're going to put in a nice double bed there. We're going to give him an end table. Uh, a nice dresser. There. Then we're going to have a look see what kind of... We've got 22 wolf skin, 37 light leather. Oh, let's do some light leather. We're going to put in a little animal bed because one of our kitty cats is preggers. But we're going to put in a little animal bed ready for the new arrival. We're not going to do... Uh, let me have a look see. How would we have a look see? Oh, look at all this lovely steel, guys. We've got some lovely steel so we can get our first... Um, what should we call it? Power, power, power. <gasps> a wind turbine. Oh my god, we're getting a wind turbine in, guys. Yes, we are. So actually we're going to put two in and uh, then we can get some power going down the back of here into his room oh at last guys we're going to get some power and as you can see we've started to build out um the double wall here the double wall there we've just got to you know pretty his bedroom a little bit give him a table and chairs give him some recreation in there and things to do we've got the floor down so it could be quicker to come out Go straight across there. I need to shrink that down. It's going to come straight across there, the path, and then the path goes straight up there as well and round. So it's like a quick walkway for people to get here and there. We're doing very well on the blocks. Um, the floor is not yet made for the animals, of course, because we need the hay grass to grow and turn it into straw. But uh, yeah, we're cracking on nicely. We have a group of piggies that I've just joined. Let's, uh, let's see how many we've got. Uh, where are they? Hello, piggies. Oh, there they are. Two. Oh, it's uh, a male and a female, I believe. Ooh. Okay. Yeti. He's coming to get them already. Look, bless him. Yes, spring is finally here. And as we're just putting the finishing touches to Yeti's bedroom, Snow and Binks there just smoothing off the marble walls, uh, we have our first power, guys. Yes, we have our first actual electricery going on here. Oh, I've missed a bit of floor there. Let's sort that out right now. 
Oh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Uh, floors. I think I do marble tiles in here. Oh, brilliant. So I think the little jet there is watching Bink move the walls and working out how to do that for himself. And yet he's so happy about his bedroom. Look, guys, he wants to throw a party. But that's going to be fun. Uh, looks like we're going to have to put down a party spot, which we can do under here. Party spot. There we go, guys. Have a little bit of a party. Enjoy yourself. We've got plenty of food for the time being. Plenty of meds. The animals are happy in their new barn. We've got some eggs getting laid. We've got our two power up. Uh, all this lovely wood in spare. When we get some solar panels, we can put some solar panels down the back. Oh, we're cracking on. Now, this was getting digged out because this is actually compacted steel. So what I'm going to do with this is make it into two little bathrooms. Well, uh, we're going to have one coming off Yeti's room here into a bathroom. And then we're going to have like a communal bathroom at this side coming in from the storeroom. So that's what that space is going to be once our little miner little buddy has finished there. And as you can see, we have tons and tons of steel. Look at this. Steel galore. And that is all we needed. So we're getting on quite well, guys. Oh, we need to get rid of that. Absolutely need to get rid of the poops. And it's time to say goodbye to our refugees. Unfortunately, little Jet did not want to stay with us. And he's going away. At least he's got a brand new parka. Not a parka. He's got a brand new uh, pair of pants and a hat. <laughs> Keep him warm on his travels. Uh, yeah. But we got quite a lot of steel dug. Uh, we've used a bit of it. I'll show you down here what we've done, managed to do. Here we've got some water pumps. Uh, that's a water pump, actually. Uh, a wind-powered water pump. Those two wells. And two water towers. Uh, and they're getting filled up as we speak. So in this little corner here, we've got like a dumping stockpile for some steel slag chunks and some bits and pieces like the um, the granite chunks and stuff like that. We've replanted, not replanted, we've replanted the heel root here. And this one will be disassembled soon. And we've got some cotton growing in this one. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more of a farm down here and at some point we will utilize the steam geyser but for now we're doing rather well we've got a lot done but but is a big word look at our wealth total and our last raid or something happening was way back we are due a raid guys and our wealth has gone up quite a considerable amount mm, we need to get a trap built around here even if it's only a little one, just to see us through while we're doing other things. But there we go. Quest completed. And with that, guys, we're going to leave today with our lovely Yeti building our blocks. We've got quite a lot of marble there as well, so we can start. If there's like inside um, areas that I've done with um, granite, we can change it to marble, make it look a little bit better for the beauty. We got a lot, a lot done in today's episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next week in more Cat World. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.